I used to shoot Canon though. What about oh, you? Right. No, no, Nikon. No, no. Um, we don't like Canon users. Oh, we don't, we don't. No, no well, I, I jumped ship. I'm Sony now, so. <laughs> Color is all good. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can see, I'm actually back in the office today. It's been about six months since I started working in London and I've not actually set foot in the office since I started. I don't know why it's taken me so long to go back into the office to be honest. I've been working at home for almost half a year now. I would eat, sleep and work in the same tiny bedroom and um, I didn't realize how badly it was affecting me mentally. There was almost no work-life separation and the lines got a bit too blurred. So I started coming back into the office and honestly, I love it. So yeah, it's been great coming in. Uh, I finally get to meet some of my colleagues in person. And most importantly, I can simply walk out of the office and I'm immediately outside one of my favorite photography hotspots in London. So today I'll be going on a little walk around the St. Paul's area. Not long, maybe 45 minutes or so, because I do need to go home. I'll be taking my Sony 6500 as usual with the Tamron 17 to 70 millimeters. And um, yeah, I'll just have a little walk around and see what shots I can get. Just getting the camera out. Kind of wish I had one of those Peak Design rucksacks uh, clips where you can just have a clip on your rucksack strap like that. You don't have to awkwardly do this every time you want to get your camera out like me. And I kind of want a Peak Design wrist strap too. As usual, go put in one of these headphones. I don't even know if it does anything to be honest, but it makes me feel a bit better when I'm out here talking to myself. And if I put the headphone in, it just creates the illusion to passerbys that I might be on the phone. So in here, I kind of like the frame with the trees and the wall. Has this looks all right. So I'm just going to make a right turn here to go to one new change where you can get a very iconic shot of St. Paul's with the reflections on either side. Okay, the sky isn't looking great. It's quite overcast. I don't know if I can uh, put, pull any colors or create any artificial colors in post. Got a little shot through the trees. But the bus isn't too loud. I'm good. <laughs> adding a bit of foreground. Uh, adding a bit of foreground with those trees in front of St. Paul's. Right, so I've just arrived in one new change. Um, you can already see these two glass walls on either side will help create these reflections of St. Paul's. This is actually one of the, I think this is the first shot that I took when I first moved to London in January this year and started doing sort of trying out street photography after watching a bunch of videos on YouTube over lockdown. You turn around here, you can see St. Paul's in the center with these walls on either side. And if you take a photo with a wide angle lens, you can essentially have three St. Paul's at once. Maybe get low. I really like this shot because well, it kind of ticks multiple boxes at once. You've got the leading line with this metal thing on the floor, as well as reflections. Leading lines and reflections are both types of street photography shots. So it's quite nice whenever you can mix and match them together in one photo. Sorry. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Yeah. All good. Hey man, can you do me a favor and hold up your camera one more time? I'm trying to get a shot of the uh, um, of your of your camera screen. Okay. okay, yeah, hold that for a sec. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, you want, yeah. You want another one? Uh, no, that's all right. Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of what I was going for. <laughs> so cool. like focusing, focusing on the screen. Oh wow! Because I got the uh, I got the normal shot like so many times already. Yeah. So I'm just I was just trying to get some something different. Cool, like, cool. What yeah. camera is that? Uh, this is the Sony A6500. Oh, wow. What about you? Is that Fuji? This is Fuji. Yeah, um, XT. Um, X100V. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so, yeah that's it, man. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's fun to use. You yeah. Know what I mean? So it's just like, I used to have the uh, the Canon, and I just find it heavy and bulky. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I'm an ex Canon shooter as well. Yeah. Got his Instagram, uh, just like me. You know, he's got a full time job, but he kind of does street photography as a 
as a hobby whenever he has time to. He's getting this shot. Quite like the yellow of these stairs. Yeah, I'll put his, I'll put his profile up on screen. Check out, check it out. Drop him a follow if you want. We got this kind of glass um, roof slope, whatever you want to call it here. And I think you can get another reflection here potentially. Wait, no, it doesn't really work. <laughs> what? Where's the reflection? It only really reflects on the bottom one. I don't know why. Um, yeah, it looks kind of shit. Oh well. I'm gonna go to Millennium Bridge now, just to get a different perspective of St. Paul's. So I'll see you there. Hello, Jimmy speaking. Drake, do you want me to take photos at your birthday next weekend? Which day? 10th of July. Sorry mate, I won't be able to make it. I'm going to Optical Wonders photo meetup on the 10th of July in London. Ah, it's alright man, don't worry about it. Next time I'm sure. All right, sweet. Speak to you soon. I'm also a bit worried about the rain because I'm pretty sure the A6500 is not weather sealed slash water resistant. I know that the Tamron 17 to 70, which is the lens that I have on, is weather sealed, but I don't know if that still works if you're pairing it with the 6500 body. If anyone knows, let me know in the comments below. So I'm just going to go down these stairs and try and get a nice perspective of St. Paul's. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, the sky's clapped today. It's just uh, pure white, no textures, no clouds, no golden hour. I actually took one of my favourite shots ever. Um, at this location, I'll put it up on the screen. That was taken uh, on a day where there's a where there was a much more beautiful sky. But yeah, it just goes to show that not every time you shoot, you're gonna get those Instagram bangers. You're not gonna get the shot that you necessarily want. But yeah, that is the nature of street photography. You just go out and uh, shoot as many shots as you can. Sometimes you get a couple that you're happy with. Sometimes you get a bunch that you're happy with. And sometimes it starts raining and you decide to go home. Get a shot here with the um, sort of railing as a foreground. Potentially quite a moody edit on this. Not quite sure yet. I'm going to place the uh, shard on the sort of left rule of thirds line. Not sure if that makes any sense. Get another shot of this. This building here. I'm not actually sure what it's called. Is this the gherkin? Yeah, I think it is. Settings at the moment are 1 over 125, f2.8. The reason why I'm shooting at f2.8 at the moment is because, for example, for this shot earlier, I wanted a blurry foreground of this kind of railing. So the lower your f-stop, like the number after the f, the lower your f-stop, the blurrier the foreground or background is, whatever you're not focusing on. And whenever you try to create layers in your shot, just like I did just then with the foreground of the railing, you want to try and have as low of an f-stop as possible. With my lens, the uh, Tamron 17-70, to the lowest f-stop is f2.8, which isn't super low in the grand scheme of things. Like most prime lenses go down to f1.4, but it is low enough for what I want to use it for, and it's reasonably, reasonably blurry at most focal lengths. I used to shoot Canon though. What about oh, you? Right. No, Nikon. no, no, no. Um, we don't like Canon users. Oh, we don't, we don't. No, no well, I, I jump chip. I'm Sony now, so. <laughs> I'm Nikon. I'm trying to learn um, long exposure. Oh, it's yeah. It's about to rain and it's not really the nicest. It's not ideal, is and it? And the lights are not really out that I would like. Yeah, the sky, I mean, and over the there's all right, is... but most of the sky isn't looking great today yeah so i think I've, it's really blown out for me tonight to try it yeah. wonderful Good you take care man with you. yeah it's nice bumping into you man you can tell you can tell millennium bridge is a hot spot for photographers there's another one right there okay man all right 
Yeah, I'm bad. How are you? Uh, I don't know, I was just walking around, but the, uh, the sky's not looking great. So I don't know how long I'll stay out today. What about you? Um, just doing some street photography. Yeah, yeah, same. Uh, I don't really what... do long exposure. Right, right. Uh, so I thought I'll bring out the tripod and try some long exposure today. Yeah, nice. Also, this shot looks kind of cool. If you don't mind, can I take a photo of you like this with the bolts in the, the back? Camera camera? Yeah, 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 with the camera. It. <laughs> yeah, it looks kind of nice. I like the framing of it. <laughs> I, I do a lot of street port, uh, portraits, so you know, if someone asks me, I can't say no. <laughs> yeah, you gotta give back sometimes, eh? Do you want to look in the camera, maybe? Yeah, that looks good, actually, yeah. You should pretend to be taking a shot of me. Right. Sweet, hold that. Oh, there we bumped the ice up a bit. It's a bit dark. A tight one. Sweet, thanks man. Like just today, I was literally out for about, I want to say 45 minutes. I'm heading back now because it's uh, starting to rain. I don't really want to get wet. Um, but yeah, just in this, these like 45 minutes, I've bumped into what, three photographers? Uh, all kind of in the same Paul's area. And whenever I do see someone with a camera that looks reasonably approachable, I just stop and say hi. Who knows, it might be a future photography buddy or somebody you meet up with and go on photography walks with. And uh, even if not, it's just uh, nice to say hello. You're all, we're all out doing the same thing. Uh, so why not try and connect with somebody because of that? What am I saying again? And that wraps up the video. I hope you enjoyed it, as always. Obviously, I'm still very new to this whole YouTube thing. So in the coming weeks, I'm going to try out you know, different types of videos, maybe blogs, maybe even tutorials. See how I feel. As always, I really appreciate any feedback. Just let me know in the comments below if you liked the video, what you didn't like, so I can continue to improve and make these videos better. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.